We're going to review solving equations with rational exponents. That means my exponents are fractions. And there's a very simple way to take care of this, but we need to make sure that we understand what that is. This problem with my 2 as the denominator means it's a square root. I'm taking uh, x to the 3 halves power. Well, the half is the square root portion of it. This problem can be written in a number of different ways, but the easiest way to solve this problem is to raise both sides to the same power so that this power of 3 halves is canceled out. So I'm going to reuse the reciprocal of, two, of 3 halves, which would be 2 thirds. And if I do one side, I must do both. So then what I've noticed here is that my three, my two, one from top and one from bottom, that would cancel. My three, top and bottom, would cancel. So all of my powers here are canceling out. So I have x to the one is equal to eight to the two-thirds power. Well, you can type that in your calculator. The cubed root of eight is two, and two squared is four. So my answer is x equals four. Well, sometimes you have problems in which there are other values um, in the parentheses as well. In this case, I have 4x in the parentheses, but on the outside of my parentheses, I just have the power. So I need to use the reciprocal power to get rid of the 1 half. Well, that would be 2 over 1. Again, if I do it to the left side, I must do it to the right. My powers will then cancel out, and I'm left with 4x is equal to 4 squared, which is 16. Now I need to finish solving this, so I will divide by 4, and x equals 4. Again, I have solved my equation. Well, they can be a little more involved. Okay, so I've got this parenthesis raised to a power, but I've got this minus 2 on the outside of it. Well, that needs to be eliminated before I um, do anything with my powers. So the reciprocal operation, not reciprocal operation, sorry, the inverse operation of subtracting 2 is adding 2. Inverse operations. So I have x plus 3 quantity to the 2 thirds power is equal to 4. Well, to get rid of my power, I'm going to use its reciprocal, which would be 3 over 2. Again, whatever I do to the left, I have to do to the right. So I get x plus 3, because this cancels each other out, is equal to 4 to the 3 halves power. Well, the square root of 4 is 2. 2 to the third power is 8. And I need to simply finish solving my problem by subtracting 3, and x equals 5. I want to show you multiple examples of this because each one looks just a little bit different. And my last example, oh, I went right to the edge, didn't I? Okay, so I have this parenthesis raised to a power. Well, do I have stuff on the outside? Yes, I do. So I have to get rid of those things. Well, the inverse operation of adding 3 is to subtract 3. So I have 2 times the quantity x minus 5 to the 3 halves power is equal to 16. Now I need to get rid of my 2. This is 2 times that parenthesis, so the inverse operation for multiply is divide. So x minus 5 to the 3 halves power is equal to 8. Now, to get rid of this power of 3 halves, I need to use the reciprocal power. So that's going to be 2 thirds. These will cancel each other out. x minus 5 is equal to well, the cubed root of 8 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. You can always type this portion in your calculator. 
to find the answer. Add 5 and x equals 9. This has been four examples of solving equations involving rational exponents. You need to get rid of anything on the outside of the parenthesis, then get rid of the power, and then isolate the variable on the inside of the parenthesis.